Hey everybody, it is Nicole from Shape It Up Fitness and I have to apologize for the lighting today. I know it looks like I've got UFOs in the background and I have a light here because it was so dark in this corner. <laughs> um, so like you couldn't even see my face, it was very weird. So I apologize for the lighting, hopefully you can see me okay. Um, so today I wanted to talk about something that uh, came up in a client session. They were talking about um, a friend that they knew that was doing this and my clients don't do it for sure, but I wanted to just stress how important not doing this is. If And ladies, this is mostly for you because, well, there are some guys that I know that do this too, but ladies, if you are doing 60 minutes of cardio or more every day, other than the fact like if you're training for a marathon or something like that, if you're doing that amount of cardio you are doing something wrong. Unless you're one of these people that really loves to do cardio, that's fine if that's what you want to do. But if you're doing copious amounts of cardio in an effort to lose weight, you're doing it wrong. Um, you know, us ladies over 40, we came from a generation that it was like eat way less and do lots and lots of cardio. That's not exactly true. And there's things that you need to add into that in order to make it um, kind of stick and make it so you're not killing yourself doing cardio. So um, one of my clients, again, was talking about someone they know and they, were, they do like 90 minutes of cardio every day, but she's not losing weight. And I s asked her some questions. She, you know, she can't really answer because it's her friend. But so here are some of the reasons that if you're doing... 90 minutes of cardio and you're not seeing any changes, here's what the problem is. Um, number one, you are eating way too much food. If you are able to do 90 minutes of cardio at a high intensity, now I'm not talking about beginners or someone who is, is walking very slowly or anything like that, um, but if you're doing 90 minutes and you're not seeing any changes at all, you are eating way too much food. Um, you cannot out... Um, you cannot out-exercise bad food choices or overeating, however you want to put it. You can't exercise so much in, to combat that food. So if you've ever heard the, the, you know, there's some people that go on about how, you know, oh, well, I eat this cheesecake, so now i got to run for five hours to burn it off. That is ridiculous. Please don't get caught up in that numbers game because you will never win. And um, you'll learn out why in a second. Um, the second thing about doing so much cardio is that you are really destroying your metabolism because your metabolism is going to drop really low. If you're doing a lot of cardio and so say, I mean, some of these people are doing like 900 calories a day and, and trying to do 90 minutes of cardio, your body is stalling out because you have to fuel your body with food in order to get the best performance out of your body. You can't just beat it down by doing tons of cardio and barely eating any food. That is asking for injury, especially if you're over 40. If you're younger, you might be a little bit more resilient just because you have age on your side. But down the line, if you continue with that, it's not gonna work and you're gonna wind up being injured or sick or worse. Um, so I highly recommend you not do that. You have to eat minimum of what your daily caloric intake um, burn is, your daily burn. So uh, the other thing is, this is very important, is, I'm oh, sorry, um, number three is you have to lift weights. You cannot be lifting five pound weights, ladies, if you're, now if you're just starting out and that's really heavy to you, then yes, that's where you need to start, but you need to be lifting heavier weights. Again, I'm not talking about being a power lifter. You don't have to go around lifting cars or anything like that. You don't even have to do like tire flips. It's not like I'm promoting, you know, a certain version of exercise um, that is really popular right now. It's kind of fading, but there's a lot of injuries that come with that. You have to be giving your muscles some resistance each day. So that could be body weight, um, definitely body weight, but when you're lifting regular weights, you've got to get past those five pound dumbbells. I don't know how many women come to me and they start with me and they're 
scared to death to go to 10 pounds. It's, I promise you, you will not bulk up. Again, look at me. I lift heavier and I am not bulky by any stretch of the imagination. So please, please, please get rid of that myth that you are just going to turn into some like She-Ra uh, when you start lifting weights. Okay. So ditch those five pounds or work your way past those five pounds. Um, the other thing about doing so much cardio, like 90 minutes a day, I have much better things to do with my time than spend 90 minutes on a treadmill. Now, again, this is not for you guys who are training for marathons or you have a 10K that you're training for. Um, if you're training for a 5K, again, you still do not need to do 90 minutes a day. Um, but there's so many different things you could be doing with your time rather than spending it on the treadmill or, or an elliptical or a Stairmaster or all the above, you know? Um, so again, really the bottom line is, is you cannot out exercise what you're eating. You have to fuel your body with food. You have to actually eat in order to lose weight. It's amazing that weights, weight training is, it's not even so much about the scale. It's about your inches. So really weight training is the key. Um, but for all you ladies out there who are doing 60 plus 90 minutes of cardio a day, and it's not working for you, um, I feel for you. You you need some help to get you on a, a program that's actually going to work for you. Again, get rid of that um, 80s and even probably the 70s mentality of do a ton of cardio and eat like nothing. It, it's not going to work. It hasn't worked. I mean, the obesity rates are even higher now, right? So that is my little rant for today. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. I'm happy to answer any questions that you have. If you are interested in learning more about how I can help you, head over to shapeitupfitness.com slash call, C-A-L-L, and you can request a free phone consult with me. Um, and I think that's it for me today because I have to go run and grab a child from school. My child, not somebody else's child, just in case you were curious. <laughs> so have a wonderful day. And there are many ways to get your cardio in without spending 90 minutes a day on a treadmill or whatever. So leave your comments down below and I will talk to you in the next video. Take care. Bye.